Okay viewers, what I'm going to show you is a series of videos on how to rebuild a Holden M20 M21 gearbox. I'll show you the do's and don'ts, what you need, tools, things to look out for, and yeah, I'll show you the easiest way possible to Put one together so you'll be able to do it yourself at home. This one's a six cylinder M20, which is the most common one. And uh, we'll start with the disassembly. Camera up here somewhere. Firstly, remove all the bolts. I've already removed the side cover. I'm going to tap that up about there because you've got a locating pin. That should come off pretty easy. Yes, a rattle gun. Be handy. Slide straight off. There's two types. You've got a seal. Well, the early, early types, they had like a slinger set up with no seal. That's got to be compatible with the front shaft. You can't swap and change those parts. the bolt here under the bolt you got a spring and a ball bearing so make sure you don't lose those this is your reverse arm now you don't want to take that nut right off loosen him up 
tap it down. Slide straight off. Pull that out, keep it aside. Speedo gear, that looks good. That aside. Careful of that. Right now, lay shaft. I use a Holden V8 push rod. It's got bugger all wear. They do wear there, very common. Right, there's push the cluster to the side, out the way, and everything will just fall out. Still a bit of oil in here. And that's it. Main shaft. We'll strip that. Get that out of the way. Old rag to clean up a bit. Decent pair of circlip pliers. Circle off the rear. Clip off the front. Now, to get these off, all I do is drop down on the concrete floor or whatever you got, and they'll just fall off.
Now this one's got a plastic cover on the rear bearing. Now that tells me that this gearbox is original, never been pulled apart before. But it has got a broken circlip there. First gear, she's been grinding in the first. Worn out all the dog teeth, so that would need replacing. Same with that. That's all worn out, that would need replacing. Third gear, seems pretty good. Another thing to look out, this circlip spins around sometimes and it's not onto the keyway. That side's alright. This one here's fallen off too. Spin around. That'll explain while it been, while it was causing this problem. All right, one more circlip. This one can be very tricky. What makes it harder is when mechanics put the circlip on the wrong way because there's a sharp point at one side and blunt at the other where you can't get the pliers to grip on. Sometimes you've got to bend and twist and absolutely munt that to get it off. Alright, slide off easy. Yeah, so that one's the keyways dropped out all together on that one. Not too bad. Yeah, all right. Next step: wash everything. It's the hardest part of the job cleaning everything up and on the next video I'll show you things to look out for um, part numbers what they mean and then we'll go and uh, final assembly step by step yes so keep watching subscribe and uh, Wait for the next video.